LA2. You may remember this printer I got from the Goodwill a while back. There's HP, this HP LaserJet M12. Focus, you moron. LaserJet M1212NF multifunction printer. I plugged it in. It ha this is the one I got with um, the busted off USB port. There's no U USB port on it, but there's still an Ethernet port. So I was interested in this thing being a networked printer. So I decided to finally get an ink cartridge for it. I got a cheap aftermarket one because the HP ones are $60, and I'm not going to spend $60 on a freaking ink or a toner cartridge. Are you kidding me? So. I got one of these, so <clears throat> let's put it in the printer, let's see what it can do. Huh. I like this air bubble packaging. Cool. Alright, nice. We have the toner cartridge here. So, huh, looks like I have to remove that. So, here's how I have this printer set up. I have it plugged into the Ethernet port of my router over there, just directly, so you should be able to print from, from just about anything. Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to print from Linux as well, because this printer isn't a dumb printer. It actually has its own... It might even have a web interface. I'm not sure yet. I haven't used it. So, we're going to turn it on and stick the cartridge in. It's got relays in it. Didn't expect that. Okay, so... Let's put a cartridge in. It fits. Very nice. It appears to work. Nice. Now I just need some paper. Supply memory error. Ready, auto. Okay. It appears to be working. What, the, what does that mean, supply memory error? No, that it's open. Yeah, I don't know what supply memory error means. Maybe this printer doesn't work after all. <laughs> <clears throat> I'll have to try printing something out with it. Alright, I have a RAM box here, so let's try and copy it and see what happens. Alright. Put that there. That's not going to work because it's not flat enough. <laughs> All right. Let's copy this. All right, let's take this LG DVD warranty card. Copy it and see what happens. Let's see if I can figure out how to copy something. Would help if you could actually see. Default quality, default, okay, everything is just, all right, Let's see what the copy button does, Let's see if it works. Wow, N nothing. why that is. I wonder if the scanner's broken. Let's try it again. See if it moves. It moves. It still appears to be printing nothing. 
What the hell? You know, I bet that's why. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's try this again. So it's how much I know about printers, right? Initializing. All right, let's copy this again and see what happens. That's more like it. Wow, a little uneven printing there. I should probably shake the cartridge a little bit. Still says it still says supply memory error, and I don't know what the hell that means. So I have to look into that. I haven't installed a new toner cartridge in about eight years, so I definitely need to brush up on my knowledge. I forgot to pull the clip off of here, and there was a tab I had to pull out of there. So now that I've done everything I'm supposed to do, let's put it all back in here. If I can get it in there, right? Try that again. I also uh, shook the cartridge side to side like that. Stop some of that fading. Genuine HP installed. Okay, there we go. Let's co do another copy. I said copy. Oh wow, that's much, much, much better. Let's check out the text. That's razor sharp. I like it. That looks good. So, it looks like we have a working printer. Now I just need to get it on the network. Someone threw this out just because the USB port was busted off. That they probably don't know how that you can network. They probably had no clue you could network it. So let me set up the network settings here. Let me turn the light on. All right. Fax job status. This thing's also a fax machine. Or it's a networking setup. There it is. Automatic. Automatic. Oh, you can turn IPv6 on or off. Nice. Show IP address. No. Link speed. So you can change it to 10T half, 100TX full. I'm just going to leave it on automatic. Yeah, I think that's just for... Uh, Selecting different settings if you have like a static IP or something or whatever. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it as is and try to install the drivers. As you can see, I looked up that uh, error. It turns out that I had to remove tabs on the cartridge. I'm such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> that's how, that's what you do. You look up something when you don't know what you're doing. But I downloaded the Windows 8 driver for uh, this HP printer, so we're gonna install it and see if I can uh, get to the. Uh, so we're going to install it here and see if I can, uh, where is it? There it is. So we're going to install the Windows 8 driver here and see if I can't get the printer to work. Well, I can't use the basic driver, so I'm going to try using the full feature driver. It might have an option to install it over the network, so 
despite having all the annoying software on there, it should work. So I'll download that. Ooh, I got fast internet today. So I'll download that, and uh, <clears throat> we'll try it out and see if I can't get the printer to work. Here we are at the installation guide. Yes, you can install it via the network. Excellent. So let's do that. Begin setup. Yes, you don't want the black plastics to yellow. Does this have sound? <laughs> How about install printer software? Alright. This is the M1212, so we'll select that one. Configure to print over the network. Excellent. So we got the software installing. So, in order to get this printer to work on Windows, you got to use the full software suite. You can't skirt by with the, the small driver. You need, actually need USB for that, which kind of sucks, but what other choice do I have? The USB port's ripped out. <laughs> so, there you have it. The print quality is really good, though, so I'm pretty excited to use this as a, as a printer. Uh, looks like it'll be pretty sweet. Select from a list of detected printers. Alright, let's see if we can find it. Should be able to, it's on the network. Hey, yeah, I found it. Nice. Alright, it found the printer. Very nice. Now it's installing the drivers and everything. And a window keeps reappearing there. So, I'll let it install and do its thing, and then we'll get back to this and do a test page. It's doing something interesting. It's either down, I guess it's downloading the firmware from the uh, printer, and the printer actually did an, an initializing thing, so I get maybe it updated the firmware. I don't know. Oh, hey, it's complete. I don't want to register my product. Oh, looks like it's printing a test page. Oh, okay, it printed a uh, quick reference. Quick reference looks good, though. A little bit of fading there, though. I don't know. Looks good to me. Nice. E print? No. I don't need the facts. All right, it needs dot network, dot net framework three point five or whatever. So nice. Looks like the printer works. Okay, so we're going to test the printing style. I went to I went to the Washington Post and I found some random article. And the reason I did that is because a lot of these articles have a print button. So you can get a special print version of it. Uh, this article happens to be on the assault weapons ban. So let's fire up this assault weapon here and see what happens. So click print right here. And it gives you a print version of the article. So then what we can do, I'll hit control P on the keyboard, and uh, we'll print it out. Let's see how this article looks. It looks almost like it's missing a tray or something. I don't know what happened there. It might be missing a piece. But it appears to print everything out very, very sharply. Sweet. Yeah, that's kind of a fail there, I guess. But Yeah. Prints it out pretty well, though, I have to say. I'm just wondering if there isn't a piece missing, because it seems to... Uh, 
Um, Because it seems to just stuff everything down there. The printer is missing a piece. There's a piece here that holds the paper up as it prints out, as you can see by this picture here. There is that. So unfortunately, I don't have that. I'll have to try and find that if I can. So yeah, that's about the only piece it's missing. I might have to. I might just buy that and stick it on there if I can find it anywhere. But yeah, that's about the only flaw with this printer, other than the USB port. So. There you have it, guys. So I went on HP's website, and I found that I actually can buy the output tray uh, for about $18 plus $10 shipping, so it's a lot for a piece of plastic, I have to admit. But, yeah, I'll buy that um, at a later date, and then I'll stick it on this printer, and then it'll be a complete printer. And then it should be a complete project done. And there you have it, guys. So I'll order that part. And this will be all good. This printer also appears to have an auto shut off feature, which is really nice compared to my LaserJet uh, 1020s. Uh, as you can see, the screen is off and it flashes that light every now and then. And the light in the power button is much dimmer than it normally is. So it does have an auto shutdown feature to save on your uh, electric bill and things like that. So definitely a. a uh, Seems like the features of this printer are good. The reliability, who knows? Uh, <laughs> once I get the paper tray, I'll probably use it regularly, and then I'll find out just how good this printer is. But yeah, I have a network printer now that's not that doesn't have to be tethered to a computer to work. Awesome. There you go, guys. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.